Hey, this is Cayman with SMB, and today we have this uh, 2023 7.3 liter F250 in. We have an intake kit that's new for the 23 and up trucks. If you've already received your kit, simply just take the, um, the card, scan this with your smartphone camera. It'll take you to our most up-to-date install instructions so you don't have to listen to me. Um, I will get right into the install. So we're gonna remove the negative on the battery. We're gonna leave this disconnected during our install. So now we're gonna remove the map sensor. There's a tab that slides out and wiggles off. So here's the tab, comes out. Then we are gonna remove the wire harness. Now we're gonna start removing the OEM intake. So with the flathead, we get the hose clamp on the throttle body, loosened up enough to where we can Pull the coupler off. Then we're going to go to these quick connects. So this blue quick connect, it slides up into that lock position. I know I'm blocking the, the camera, but this just slides up and around. Then these greens, there's two tabs on the back that will slide up. Then you can pull your in connector out, wiggle that off. It looks like we need a little bit more. The hose clamp, we can start to, to wiggle it, wiggle it off. There's nothing else that needs to be disconnected on the intake tube. So now we'll start to remove the intake box. Now to remove the intake box, first we're gonna unsnap the lid. There's one more snap on that side. And we will put this aside. Now we're gonna remove the filter from the air box. We can pop off the front scoop. We're gonna remove this seven mil bolt in the front. Then the box could come out. push grommet. Now we can, we can remove these bolts. So this bolt here and this bolt here, both come out and then we can remove this bracket so we can get an even bigger intake box and filter. So now we're gonna work on getting the SMB intake box all set up. So first we're gonna flip the box over, big washer and bolt and get this installed to the lower Insert. And with a 10 mil, we'll get this tightened up. Then we'll get this bracket installed on the front. Again with a 10 mil. We're going to install the foam uh, runaway prevention. So these are just with the Phillips. Now we're going to find our rubber washers and two shoulder washers as well. We get these installed into the two holes right here. Then the shoulder washers will get pushed in from the inside. Now we're going to install the SMB tube seal. Now is a good time to decide on whether whether you want to install the optional SMB side scoop. So in really hot climates, you'll want to uh, install this. Uh, we're in Southern California, a customer prefers max airflow, so we're going to leave this out, even though we do have our 100 degree days. But if you're in Texas, it might be a good idea to install it. Now with the OEM bolt, we're going to get this hand tight. 
into this lower bowl. So you can see with the two welded on nuts facing towards the battery. And we'll get this a little bit tighter with the 13 mil. Now we're gonna install the SMB box. We're gonna line up this front bracket for that same seven mil. Then also that lower grommet. We're gonna I'll pull down the show. Make sure that lower grommet is still installed. But we have that prong. It's gonna match up with that grommet. That's matched up, so we'll get our 7 mil bolt started. So this little bolt, the OEM. We'll do it again our best to not lose or drop this one. Now we're gonna take the included SMB bolts and secure down this, this lower bracket. This is a 13 mil. And with these two um, bolts hand tight, we're gonna install the one going into the uh, Fender as well. So I, I can see the threads lining up perfectly with the hole in the box. So that front screw, then those two bolts line us up perfectly for this last one. We'll get this tightened down with the 13 mil. Now we'll tighten down these two bolts. Now we're going back to the OEM intake tube and we're going to remove the MAF sensor. This is with the T15. We're not going to be reusing these torque screws, but we'll thread them back into the intake tube to save. Now we're going to take the SMB MAF adapter pad. You can see this comes with two longer screws, injection molded pad, as well as a gasket. And this can only be installed one way, so see, just like, I guess I can match up this edge with that edge. Then you can see the arrow shows which way the airflow is going, so the airflow is going to go this way, and again, it's made in a way where you can't mess it up. So now we're going to get this started onto the SMB intake tube with the Phillips. Now we're going to install both of the ports for the crankcase. These are MPT, so they're not going to bottom out. You can see there's a couple threads showing that's hand tight. We'll get a couple turns with the wrench as well. And um, Teflon tape is not necessary. You're welcome to put some on, but the plastic really engages with the aluminum. installed with both hose clamps on as well. Now we're ready to install this into the van or into the truck. So we'll get this installed 
just pushes right through the box. The bead will stop it right there on the intake box. And it just slides right on. Throttle body. And we can get both these hose clamps. Tighten down. There's also helps you line up the grommet for the resonator. It's in the same place on the SMB as it was on the OEM. So get these tightened up. Now both these quick connects can be reinstalled. Always a good idea to try to pull them off to make sure they do get locked. Then this baffle is seated. Now we get working on the uh, SMB airbox. Now we can install the SMB scoop. Then with these retaining clips, they'll go through the box and then through the uh, scoop and they just inter interlock like that. to find which way it's get that tightened down and we can find our OEM retaining clip and get this installed as well Now we're going to install the SMB filter. We'll get this tightened down. This is our SMB oiled cleanable filter. So it can be cleaned with our cleaning kit and reused. We also have our dry extendable option as well. If you're in dusting conditions, you want to blow out your filter. Now we're going to reconnect the MAF, so the clip goes on the bottom and we'll slide the lock in as well. Then this um, Christmas tree just pushes right into the intake box. Then as all s and kits have a clear lid so you can see the condition of your filter. You know when to change your filter. And it also just looks really nice in the engine bay. So we'll start peeling this off and get it installed into our snap-in. So with the SMB snap-in seal, this cut out. Now with the SMB lid exposed and the wrapping off, we'll get our snap-in seal installed all around the lid. And we'll get this pressed in. To the box so i'll start on the side closest to the uh the cab and you can work your way around and then at the end you can even use your fingers to the inside of here to get that lip installed so now it's perfectly seated now to prevent these uh two crankcase hoses from rubbing we're going to put a uh, zip around the top so we're going to do a loop, and then we're going to do a loop through that and the bottom hose. And we are going to tighten both of them up. Just like that. We'll go and snip off the excess. This will just prevent any chance for chafing or rubbing down the road. And don't forget to uh, reconnect your battery. You'd find out quickly that it wasn't connected.